Hey everybody, last week of my tour before I filmed my special in Chicago at the Vic Theater, December 1st and 2nd. Tickets are still available right now for that. You can get them on SalvoCanoComedy.com. This is the last week I'm performing this material. Tonight we're in Appleton. Everybody, how'd you guys like the show tonight? <laughs> Folks, Joe DeRosa here. I am out on the road doing those live shows all over the place. And uh, let's, folks, Joe DeRosa here. I am out doing live shows all over the place by myself, not with the pod, just alone, solo, doing my thing. Uh, first up, November 9th, New York, New York. I'm doing a special show. This is a, a selected reading. I'm going to be reading entries for my audio book, The Penthouse Papers, so, plus, plus some other stuff I've had published over the years. Uh, that's for the New York Comedy Festival in New York, New York, at the KGB Bar on November 9th. November 11th, Philadelphia, PA, Theater of the Living Arts. Almost sold out. Only a few tickets left. Please come out to that. November 17th, we're sold out. Pittsburgh. PA at the Bottle Rocket. November 18th, Buffalo, New York, Theater at Seneca One. Again, almost sold out. Buy your tickets, please. November 30th, Denver, Colorado at the Summit. December 1st, Phoenix, Arizona at the Crescent Ballroom. December 3rd, Salt Lake City in Utah at the Soundwell. And January 13th, just announced, New York, New York, Gramercy Theater. Folks, New hour, popping off at the Gramercy and all of those other venues I just listed, with the exception of the KGB Bar Show. That's the only one that's not me doing I Never Promise You a Rose Garden. I'm going to be doing readings from the book at that show and that show only. Anyway, come check me out, JoeDeRosa.com, for all the show info and your ticket links. And as usual, if you're in New York, please, please, please come see us at Joey Rose's. Open seven days a week at 11.30 a.m. every day. Delicious sandwiches, cheap drinks. Come see us. And if you want info about the venue, joeyrosesnyc.com. What's up, guys? Real quick, tour dates are on sale right now at salvocanocomedy.com. There's a big Illinois run in November leading up to my comedy special at the Vic in Chicago on December 1st and 2nd. The second sold out, as you guys, I hopefully know, uh, and so we added two shows on the first. All will be taped, and all, if you have a ticket to all, any of those shows, you'll be eligible to win uh, a flight, hotel, and trip to the set of Impractical Jokers. I'm choosing one ticket out of those four shows. Uh, December 1st is still on sale right now but it's going fast salvalcanocomedy.com hope to see you guys on the road taste buds they come into the mic talking about the food they hate talking about the food they like two fools gonna fight but only one food can be right taste buds man yeah they come into the it's time to b-a-t-t-l-e buds wow first first guest to know the chant and do it with us listen if i'm going to law school am i going to watch suits first Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know who said Unlike that? Unlike Mike Ross. And I got to tell you, if I go to buy a suit, I might go to law school first. Well, you never know. And you're going to like the way you look. <laughs> Guaranteed. You know who said that? Chandler Bing. Was it? No. No. Bing it. <laughs> what was that? Men's Warehouse? Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay. So <laughs> right. what you just said, what you just said, very interesting, and it plays into adulthood, Okay. Because this is something that bothered me about that book that came out, The Subtle the Art. The Missing Piece. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Right? It was all about this. It was all sorry, about, sorry. There was a book that came Headphones. out called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a right? I know that. So this book comes out. And the it's Orange a, Book? I, I don't know. But yeah. The, the, but, it's this, it but it's this big. <laughs> it was I have it. You know, it, it was this big hit and everybody loved it and blah, 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 blah. Right? And what was the last? I heard it was a big I yeah. heard it was a big hit and everybody loved it. And then what were yeah. the other things? Blah, 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 blah. What I, could those have been? If you, what, 
you felt the need to say it. Why? What are we supposed to fill in? For I'm blah, blah, saying. Blah, 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 I'm blah, just blah. saying. Blah blah. Yeah, it was why? a big hit. Why? What I, I are we supposed know. to put? I, don't I have a. I, don't I have a, a specific... And all the stuff that goes along with it. Everybody talked about it. That everybody chatted. Whatever. I have a but, specific but, experience. With okay. The book. So here's my point. I listened to the first chapter of it on Audible. That's so funny because right? when you said the book, I was thinking, "Would you listen to it?" Yeah, <laughs> I, I listened literally one chapter. Uh, I, I just wasn't very interested in it, but I was curious. Much like Friends, this, you should get to chapter four before you critique yes. it. The book, the book's whole thing is what you're saying. Do what you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody else. Da, 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 da. Fine, fine, but make sure you get but, that camera switch. I don't like the example it gave, and your example also. I also didn't necessarily care for, like you said about the wedding thing. I'm shocked. But here's, but here, let me tell you why. Okay. And da, 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 da. Let me tell you why. All right. I'm not saying so. You should go to the wedding. I understand that in certain circumstances, yes, sure. But part of being an adult is saying I'm going to do something I don't want to do for the sake of another person that I care about. Yeah. That's that, but that then works directly against yeah. what that book preaches, or at least w what I gathered from the, the little I heard of it. Am okay. I wrong? No. I bought the book. I read it. Please. Go ahead. I bought the book in the airport. I read a few chapters, and it wasn't taking. It was just kind of like reiterating the title to me. And I was like, I'm reading, I feel like I'm reading redundancy. Right. And then I was like, maybe it's me. And then I bought the audio book. So this guy's got me for two dips into the pot. And then I haven't, list bit, I haven't listened to the audio book. I never did it. Right. I mean, I, so I, I guess, found the book annoying because the, the woman who reads it you know is what? very like. I didn't finish reading it. I'm yeah. right. <laughs> I'd like to speak on this. So. Yeah. I'd like to speak on the wedding thing. Huh? I'd like to yes, speak on the wedding please. thing. Yeah, please. Because. If you don't want to go, there's a reason you don't want to go. Do you not want to go because I don't care to... I'll speak for myself. Do I not want to go because I don't care to be there? It's not worth it to me. Or do I not want to go because traveling takes a lot of work and time and money, but I would like to support? If it's that one, yes, you do the things you don't want to do because your intention is pure. Right. If you just go because I don't want to, I don't care to support, I'm obviously not that close to this person. Well, that's that, different. But, but it's not because are you doing something because you're supposed to because well you're supposed to do things for other people or are you doing something well, because it that's means one something of the problems to you. with adulthood well yeah that this is it this is an adulthood issue but look at it this way you're with your girlfriend right she says it's personal she says it would mean the world to me it would mean the hold on I know hold. I love this okay, I love good it. good I'm good I mean it, it would mean it would mean the world to me if once a week, when we, we eat out every night, if if three of those meals uh, could be in vegan restaurants, because that means something to me, and it just means a lot to me that you show me that you're willing to eat in a place, even though you love meat, and blah, 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 blah. Now, what does blah, 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 blah mean, sweetie? Uh, what, what does da, 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 da mean? Yeah, I know. I know. Let's 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 ring every bit out of this okay. pit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to be team you now. Yeah, I didn't Thank realize you were plagiarizing, <laughs> you're plagiarizing uh, Paul Abdul. Uh, da, 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 you da, could da, 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 you da, da, da. could say very easily, I get nothing out of going to the vegan. Re Hold on, but don't. If you want to ask a question or you want to say something, don't give me multiple choice. I'm not giving you multiple choice. Then what I'm, can I say? I'm giving you a breakdown. I'm saying you could That's easily say you could easily say I don't care about the vegan restaurant. There's no reason for me to go there. Right. I a. get no enjoyment out of it. <laughs> That's a. Or right. I could say B. In which one of those where okay. you don't go to the vegan okay. restaurant are you doing something that that's not being selfish? I am going to adulthood is confusing. It is easy, child. I'm going to take <laughs> your point and remove all the leading statements because Great. I love it. If the girlfriend said, "Hey, let's do," uh, uh, you should do vegan three days a week. My feeling would be very different than if she said, "Hey, Rick." It would mean something to me if we could do this because then I'm doing it for her because she's asking and she's telling me a want and a need. That's what I'm saying. So, yes, I could. But her reasoning for it, because I want you to show me, bop, 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 I'm out. I'll do it not to show you that I'll do it. I'm not going to go to the wedding to prove to anybody anything. I'm going to go I didn't because say show me. Yes, I you didn't. did. Run it back. I Run said it would mean a lot to me. If if you could come well, and show me that just because okay. you don't eat vegan then, then at show the wedding, me. are you doing the macarena or the electric slide? <laughs> show me was poor. Was show me the electric slide. <laughs> ding ding ding. Show me was poor wording. Show me is poor wording. Okay. But 
let's let's get let's just get to the broader argument of this. But, the, you, but if you care about the person, you will want to do for them. Yeah, but you can't. If the person at the wedding cared a lot, it would be different than if they gave me an invitation. Okay, and I'm going to go there and I'm going to say five I words care, to them. I care about a lot of people in my family and a lot of friends. Awesome. They have. Uh, many of them have had destination weddings that cost a lot of money and are a pain in the ass. I that tracks. am furious about it, but I go. Yeah, it's your family. They're, or friends. But there are people in that, that take the stance that you're saying that would say, you don't have to go. You don't have to. That's the th We're talking about autonomy. I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice. It's about the have to. It's about starting to resent your relationships because they feel like obligations. Okay. Sometimes it is important. You do have to. I have to okay. step forward to see you. You have to step forward to see me. And it's not that black and white. Sorry. Adulthood is a mental prison. It is. None of this exists in childhood. None of it. Because I wake up. I play. I eat. Shit. Yeah, you're a play. You're a I dumb fool. You're a dumb fool <laughs> that doesn't understand life. A it doesn't understand paradise. that it could be fool's, snatched it's away from you at any second. It's fool's, when I'm, I don't have to over the, the the thing that happened when I, which I don't even feel like an adult, but you, I overthink everything. It's to the really? point of oblivion. That's you do, crazy. You do, you do, we do. Right? You're not you. I. That is tagged. That is tagged onto adulthood immediately, and it never goes away. And the, you gain more and more responsibility. Granted, do you have more experiences? Yes, in every facet. Yes, but I find myself you longing. You keep going all these great things. Yes, it's fantastic. <laughs> yes, you get now, to come all the time. Yes, yes. you literally get to now, own arcades. Sure. Now, well, so I'm, now I'm, I said those two hundred things. Now, no, no, but like I, I as an adult, I find myself longing to be a child again. When it was so much simpler, Here's, when my life was not, my universe was smaller talking, and more contained, I was able to enjoy moments and people I better. I understand. I understand. You're talking about a paradoxical, six, paradoxical, yeah. paradoxical, how do you, you say well, it? You, you, you just blew it, dude. Uh, which, whatever, whatever argument, you just revealed yeah. you weren't really a lawyer. How do you say paradox? Suits. How do you say paradox is an adjective? Just say paradoxical. Paradoxical. Like pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> You're dealing with dinosaurs. Just say three doxicals. <laughs> uh, old people are dinosaurs, not like children. No. Here's the thing. Why is it a pair of pants? It's, it's a paradox. Oh, God. One. Look at, look at me. What's the deal? Hey, stop hey, it. Hey, yeah. one, two. It's really simple. Okay. People are really making a meal out of that. That's a pair of pant legs. No, it's a pant leg and a pair of pants, which includes the leg. Legs is like the one in front of the X. It's assumed. A pair of shoes, too. What's this interesting is a about is a Rick is Rick... Is, it, is both sides of this argument. He's the adult side that can explain things like an adult, but then the child like the with zero economy, attention span, no matter what you say. What did you say? Gone. What did you just say? <laughs> You're both sides of the argument. Well, what was the thing you just said? That you could explain like the Let adult. Let me see that ragu for a second. <laughs> <laughs> First base. Yeah, there you go. But I don't. Here's wait, 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 you wait, could wait, go wait, back. Let me Would say you this. go back? Let me say the if paradox. You could go back. Let me say the paradox thing. Let me say the paradox thing. No, you wouldn't go back. That's good merch. No, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me say the paradox. I'm thing. not saying eliminate your experience okay, as an adult. I, I I'm just saying. I understand. Watch the kick the can episode of the Twilight Zone. That's what the entire episode's about. It's about old people in the last stage of their life in a home where life has lost all luster and all fun and whatever. Because they were so and, busy doing things they didn't want to do, and, unlike a kid. Right. And an old man comes in. In the movie version, it's he's played by Scatman Crothers. In the original, I don't remember who plays him. Well, but if you're going to say one, we need to yeah, know and both. And old old man, it's like, let's put this on old Scatman old man, Crothers yeah. and then look up the other one. <laughs> an old man comes in. And he says, I can teach you how to be young again. And he makes them children. He makes them children okay. again. And they play kick the can. And that's how they transform into kit, transform back okay. into kids. And then in the morning, they become adults again. Okay. And he says, if you want this, I can give it to you. And all of them but one say, I can't do it all again. Even knowing what I know now, like I can't go I back and say do that, it all though. again. You said if you could go back, would you? Not, that's literally not what you do just it said. all again. I'm not talking about a life. I'm just talking about what is a better no, time period. You just period. said if you could hey, go but, back. But you, what the hell did you mean by that argue, question? Let's not argue well, the misunderstanding. Back, let's not like argue the misunderstanding. Attaching semantics. You know what? Okay, Maybe he'll but, say he could have used a better choice of words. You can okay, empathize with what, that. Yes. But what was your question then? You said if you would you go back. Does that not mean and be a kid again? Well, I just explained. I don't mean live my whole life again. I just mean that despite everything I've experienced as an adult, I think 
I was happier as a child. Take us to the vote. Wonderful. Humble wonderful. pie. Here we go. I think Childhood might take it. I saw a lot of comments as he was scrolling. Yeah. Uh, and it's not good that he's putting clicking. <sighs> we got 7,000 votes. Jesus. Ooh. Oh, you idiots. But you know, you, but you know, but no, hold on. But there's something interesting about this one that you don't get that often. We didn't really sample the jury properly because the percentage of this that are adults thinking the grass was greener then. Yeah. If if children, that's why I it think we need skewed. to get more children Sometimes to follow you on social. Yeah. yeah. If children we voted, more, I bet more you they would on be like, media. oh, fuck, I have to wait seven years to get my dick yeah, sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would be saying yeah. the other way. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. The, yeah. the percentage Never breakdown for those of you listening. Porn? Go the, per- on. the percentage <laughs> yeah. breakdown. By the way, when you when you found the VHS that your uncle had and you, and you put it in, you know that's also mind blowing. Everything's an eleven. Everything. The cookie, the friend, the rock. Everything's an eleven. This is a lot right of, now, there's ebbs okay, and flows to okay, it. An eleven is literally. It's I a think, tough one. I think this is a lot of people going. I have a kid and I love my kid and this, I watch this is my adults kid do this. Voting. That's what this I is. Think. Adults yeah. voting. Fair. I think it's a lot of parents voting. voting but, but in, that, in that respect, we probably had skewed things. I mean, look. But okay. it, is it? It's sixty-four for those listening. Childhood had won sixty-four point five percent to thirty-five point five percent. How much of that we can tabulate That's to not be chocolate skewed? What's the record? You know, this right. is this is, is something back that, on me? that like the sample are people that are just from one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks, do you like to go to events, live events, concerts, theater, comedy shows, sporting events, whatever it is? Uh, I do, and I'm sure you do too. Uh, Here's the problem. The damn ticket buying. I can't stand it, Uh, which is why I like Game Time. Game Time is making buying those tickets a lot uh, more of a a stress-free if you will, experience. Uh, I hate buying tickets in advance. I hate not knowing that I'm getting the right deal. I hate to not know what it's going to look like from where I'm sitting. But game time is alleviating all of those concerns and worries and just bringing a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all events, whatever they may be that you want to attend. That's your business. That ain't my business. Uh, With killer last minute deals, all in prices, they show you views from your seats and it's a best price guarantee they, they take all the guesswork out of buying tickets. Uh, I really like that um, there's uh, all in prices that show you the total of the ticket up front also. So, you know, because sometimes you see a ticket price and then you go to buy it and then there's all these fees, whatever. They, they're showing you the all in price immediately from the jump. Uh, so, you know the exact deal, which will be a great deal that you're getting before you check out. And of course, if you find tickets in the same section and row for less money, Game time will credit you 110% of the difference uh, if you find that after you've already purchased your tickets through them. So download the Game Time app and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. You're going to get that app. You're going to create an account. You're going to use promo code TasteBuds for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code TasteBuds, T A S T E B U D S, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Folks, it's the holiday season and it's time to be making those phone calls and those texts and all those things we do with our cell phones. Your mobile plan is going to play a big part of your holiday season. And that's why I am recommending Mint Mobile. Give yourself the gift of insane savings this holiday season with Mint Mobile's best wireless deal of the year they already have great deals but this is the best one they've had of the year right now here it is when you switch to mint mobile and buy any three-month plan you'll get another three months for free that is nuts uh that's six months of premium wireless services for the price of three and their prices are already outstanding mint mobile lets you order and activate from home while saving tons on phone plans that start at are you ready for this they start at just 15 dollars a month I can't think of a better gift than turning an overpriced wireless bill into just 15 bucks a month. And how do you do it? With Mint Mobile. All right. By going online and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. And all plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. So for a limited time, Buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three months more free by going to mintmobile.com slash taste buds. 
That's mintmobile.com slash taste buds. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash taste buds. All right. We got to get to this battle. We're, we're, we're spending a lot of time over here. Uh, I, I know I'm curious to see how many votes this actually gets, but Sal's wanted to do this battle for a long time. I'm not trying to shit on it, but, but, you, but you, but we can't say you're curious to see how many votes it gets. I just mean, no, no, no. I'm saying that because I'm curious to see how much fans, I'm curious to see if anybody gives a shit about this battle. What do you mean? It's a, it's a battle just like anything else. We've done, we've done pool versus ocean. That, that's got some, we've done fork versus spoon. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's Babe, it's a thing. I hear you. It's a it is it is for me a quintessential battle. They're the only two. Wait, pen, we got to say what it is. It's pencil versus writing, pen. It's pencil versus yeah. pen, guys. Yeah. They everybody uses them. Everybody it, it, across all. That everything. is true. All everybody lands, does use all them. countries, all yeah. ages, all barriers. Okay. And they're the only two things really. Do, I mean, unless you're dipping your pen in some and and some. In some fountain ink and doing calligraphy, uh, this is what you use. Okay, right? every stu- I mean, come on, and 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 they are each other's. All right, they're each other's. What would I? What would you call it? Yin and Yang. Yeah, yeah. This is an excellent, excellent. They battle. complete. They complete one another. Yeah, for a non-food battle, I think you can't get a more perfect matchup than a pen versus a pencil wow. when. There's only you're really, two, you're when only two things exist in a space. I mean, it's 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 like it's 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 like a thunderdome. Well, it depends on what that space is, but you know, I don't I want say, people. To, I don't I, look. Want, this is what's going to be tough. I gotta I gotta write. Can you can you write? Can, I gotta write something. I don't want people to be like ah erasable pen. <laughs> so let me just because that's what they're gonna do. Wait, you can edit it after you put it up. Uh, I. Maybe now in the new one. I, I actually was just going to write a comment right on the All right, write a comment. I think you can. You might be right. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. You, you, I don't think you can. You can. You can edit after it's posted. 30 minutes. Wow, that's a new feature on Twitter. So Elon did do one or two good things over there. I, I thought you could. How do I do it? This is a first ever update of the poll in real time on the show. All right, just put just quote tweet it. Just quote tweet it. Erasable pen well, doesn't quote count. Quote tweet it won't show up for the people that look at it, so I'm just going to put it as the next response. All right. Erasable pen does not count. Uh, I mean, look. I uh, will it- say, as you do that, I think the one gray area uh, we potentially didn't consider. How do you spell erasable? Erase enable? Because it's not coming up as a word. Just, just, just put pen with eraser doesn't count or something. Yeah. There was nothing worse than the erasable pen. When I was a kid... We can both agree on that. Yeah. When I was a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing. And what you learn is it's shit ink. Yeah, it's shit ink. It doesn't stick to the page. It's terrible. Uh, I also think that we're, 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 people might... If, if artists are going to go, well, there's colored... There's, there's, a, there's a colored marker. There's a, there's a brush. There's a, you know... But but I think what obviously we're talking about here is is a writing utensil. Yeah. Uh, let's let's uh, all right. Let's start the battle. Uh, it's time to B A T T L E buds. Uh, I am team pen. Sal is team pencil. Uh, there's not even a contest here. This is absurd that you would even. I have all the things I love about the pencil, and I have the things that I. You know, I'm don't gonna hit you. Me. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna hit you with the with an argument ending, right at the top. Mm. Point. Okay. A pen. You, you can give the gift of a pen. Have you ever received a you can weighted, absolutely a weighted pen? I've received both. I got one in my bag of awesome one time. One of my one of box my of. Or, or sorry, my box of awesome. I got a weighted golden pen. It sits perched on my desk. Yeah. It looks like the sort of Excalibur. You 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 take it off the I've thing and you a- sign something with it. You feel like you feel like Scrooge yeah. or 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 Jimmy Stewart in a It's a Wonderful Life. I, it feels so official. It's I've, incredible. I've gotten a pen as a gift. Actually Q gave me a pen as a gift one time. Uh and I've also gotten no joke gift for a friend to give. 
I, I, it's a weird gift. He's give, we give each other so if, much. If, he's if, giving if me, a me a pipe. A pen, I'd be upset. No, it was a. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was the one that he loves writing with, and we write. So it's, it, was, right, it was a nice. Yeah, it was my go-to pen at that. Uh, but I, I I've been given a pen, but I also have been given uh, a pencil. And I don't mean the traditional pencil. It's just wonderful, really beautiful pencil. And it's inside like this sil sterling silver sheath. And it's got like a screw. The, the eraser is a screw that comes off. And on the flip side of that, inside of it is a sharpener. And it's it just it was beautiful. I actually got it from Comedy Central in... Uh, so then, but then it sharpens down and you're done. Well, you could buy another brand of that pencil and put it in there, or any put pencil. Put it in the box. Yourself. Any pencil, but this is it was an upscale. Pen. I looked it up. The pencil was like upwards of two hundred dollars. The only thing, and it's it's a wooden pencil. It's a wooden, but it's in a sterling silver. You hold weight. It's weight. You hold it in the sheath to write. I mean, oh, the only I thing that comes out saying. is the bottom. I see what you're saying. So it's a pen. It's a pencil trying to do with the weighted pen. No, does. it's it's just a it's just a pencil, uh, in, an innovative pencil. Well, but that you put it your own pencil. Inside. Nothing about it is a pen. The only thing that constitutes a pen is ink, my friend. This had lead and an eraser. But I'm saying you you buy a number two pencil and put it inside this case. No, no, it came with its own pencil from that company. So then you got you buy a replaceable pencil and put it in. Yes, although you could put anything in there. I'll, I should I'll bring it on. What happens when the pencil gets shorter and it doesn't fit inside the case anymore? It does. How? It's the way it was like designed. There's a mechanism that keeps pushing it forward. The way it was like designed. Like toothpaste style. Yeah, it was the way it's designed. Okay. And I'll tell you another thing. The, what are those pencils? What are they? Uh, uh, do, pilot, no, wings? Pilot wings? No, what are they called? The wings. They, they're, they're, the, they're the ones with that like broad, like flat eraser head, top head. But just put like best pencils. It'll come up right away. <laughs> just just scroll. It's It's... Where, where are you going here, Bubba? No, not not on here. Not on here. Just go to just go to Google searches. Blackwing. That's it. The Blackwing. That pencil. I, see, I I I I love them. This is what I see. It's wonderful. So they have a, a whole host of pen uh, pencil, and they have every pencil writes feels and and writes differently. So you could have a, like one that like writes fast, one that writes slow. One that writes a little wider or smoother. One that writes very. Like, it, it's it's just a it's just a wonderful company. I really like it. They sell um, replaceable eraser heads too, so you don't get stuck with that empty eraser up top with half a pencil left, like we did all through our school years. And then you chew that. To, that's a, but, but let me tell you something else. But that's I just, something I loved outside too. Of the art I loved when I had a number two pencil in high school or grammar school, and it was like down to this, and I lost the eraser, and then I chewed it, and I chew on that little metal thing on the end. <sighs> God, oh, I like love it. I love biting into a pencil and leaving it. teeth marks. I always hated, I have personalized pencils with hated, messages uh, on them. I always hated pencils because they always got depressing. They always marked up all your stuff in your book bag. I'd get like a brand pencil new, case, babe. I got a brand. Your pencil case would look like it went through a fucking trash compactor by the end of the school year. I, I hated pencils for their lack of boundaries. They just didn't know how to keep to themselves ever, ever. Once in a while, you get a pen that explodes. Sure. But but oh Joe, but you know, here, Joe, here's what I see. Here's Joe, what, what a pen explosion it's is is a lifetime of lead markings inside your bag. It's a horrible. pen explosion up of the pocket in this pocket on your hands. You ain't getting that I off. I can count. Where, where uh, I can count on, on one. You, I can count on one hand how many times it has happened. One hand, right? So it's happened at least five times. That's horrible. No no no. I can count on one hand how many times it's happened. Meaning, I I can remember maybe two times that ever. It's happened. still traumatic. It is traumatic. My point is, is with the pencil, it was always a problem. It never stopped. It's all. I don't know about that. Well, this is what I'm gonna. This is what I see with a pencil. You're saying the lead an marks up some things in I'm your bag. I'm gonna make an analogy. It's it's weak. It's a weak. Thing. I'm gonna make an analogy. Yeah. The pen is David Letterman. It's no, it is not. Hold on. Let he me. He famously used pencils. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Let me just say. Fine, Johnny Carson. The pen is Johnny so you Carson. So you don't know if it's Johnny Carson. Well, I would. I I can. I I think that Johnny Carson and David Letterman are the two greatest okay. late night hosts of all time. I'm going to go with Johnny Carson though, just to suit your your David Letterman pencil thing. The pen is Johnny Carson. It's a professional. It rules the roost. It knows it rules the roost. It comes out. It's classy. 
It doesn't need to. A pen is not classy. Hold on bro. a second. Let me let me a finish. Pen, let me finish. A big pen is it not classy. It has nothing. It has nothing. It Paper has me. nothing to prove. It knows what its job is. It does the job. That's the end of the day. I have a lot to say. Now, I look at pencils. I see colored pencils. I see uh, monogrammed pencils. I see pencils with uh, custom messages on them. I see pencils with zany pictures on them. And what I the see versatility. is and what I see is Conan O'Brien. Someone who's good at his job but can't turn it off. Tries way too hard all the time. A twenty years, it just never a stops. A twenty plus year late and night you veteran. Go, you go, Conan. You're great at what you do. Stop for a second. I mean, just I stop. Learn from the pen. Turn the pencil, it off for a second. Calling the pencil Conan O'Brien is a compliment. All right, let's Puts go to the vote. Let's go to the ink vote. on your hands let's like you robbed the. Vote. Bank and the bag exploded. Let's okay? go to the vote. Everything you just said there, Let's every single the thing, vote. every single thing you just said there, everything I had and have an answer for. Every single thing you said. Okay. Okay. All right. What happens when you get a pen in your hand? Can we please just go to the vote? What happens when you get Can a pencil? We please? I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is psychotic. You made terrible points. This is psychotic. I think this is your worst ever defense of an item. Okay. <laughs> oh, way better than I thought. <laughs> Way better than I thought. Seventy six point five to twenty three point five. That's more than double what I thought it well, was. Well, guess what? Be. Well, guess what? I still love you, buddy. I love you too. Now, I'm telling right, you right now. now. I think. I think, in people's opinion, we got to get not, salty here. All right, we're too calm. It's too nice. I've been crying. We got to get salty. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Who's going first? You, you go first. You insult me first. You go first because I need to know what your level is. Uh, uh, all right, ready? Yeah. It's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. Grow up with the shoes. Grow up. Wow. Yeah. You're 45 years old. You're running around wow. like wow. Punky Brewster. Right. It's enough. <laughs> Shout out, Punky. It's enough. It's enough. Oh, wow. See, I thought these were... I thought these were... It's enough. Hot, hot like fire, as the kids. It's hot. enough. The, you know, shoes don't make a well, personality. Me, you know well, what I mean? Well, oh, really? Yeah. Stop. Well, I have enough to go around as a person. <laughs> uh, Pimp, do you like them? I love them. I love them. V, love them and obsessed. Okay. Well, one of Pimp's these guys a, is yeah. doing his own thing. Pimp's wearing a shirt that was sewn together from two different shirts. <laughs> All right, yeah, and, I, I and V say, didn't know who John Candy was, <laughs> so I, you know, I don't know where you're going for your I don't support think here. Pimp is tough to get to get approval from clothing wise, because I just feel like he wears just just different. I I feel like he just wears different textiles. All right, like his whole entire thing is just take a little of this, a little of that. This is a shirt, but I'm gonna wear it as a pants. I know, I hear yeah. you. All right, hit me back. Ready? Yeah. It's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. Grow up. You just told. Tens of thousands of people that you cried over a goddamn Wookiee. <laughs> and you cried in front of them, right? You cried in front of them over Chewbacca. Yeah. It's a kid. It's, it's I cried when Han Solo died in Force Awakens. I know, but you cried crazy. over Chewbacca and you just told, I, you told me to grow up with my shoes. Right. You can't tell me this is at least, it's just at least fashion. You agree with it, you don't. You just said to me the irony, grow up with the shoes when you were wiping away the tear that was still there I didn't from know, crying I over Chewbacca. I didn't know emotions had an age limit. Okay. I don't know emotions at an age mm, limit. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Crying at Chewbacca though. Why? You, I mean, do you wear underoos? He's a living, still? breathing. Thing. You guys don't even know what underoos is. There was no laugh. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you guys know what underoos are? <laughs> yeah. Underoos were the shit. Actually, if I had, they still had underoos, I'd get them. I know they were great. Yeah, you know what I love underoos. And color forms. Color forms, but underoos are clothes. No, I know, but I would play with color forms. What about so. freezy freakies, bro? I don't know what that is. What do you? 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 I don't know what it is. It's the gloves that when it got cold, the things would appear on them. It was mm. literally like you couldn't get them when you were younger. It was like a cabbage patch. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. Oh wow. Right. I forgot that existed until right now. How about this? They. I thought of it like three, four years ago, and we were going on a ski trip. And uh, with Ari and a bunch of comics, uh, whoever, everybody was there. And uh, I was like, let me see if these, I was going to buy us old ones. They re, re, they re brought the company back. And I bought brand new Freezy Freakies for everybody. What the hell? All yeah. right, we got to get to the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Friends versus Seinfeld. I am taking Friends. Because. Uh, well, because Sal 
per usual, goes, I, I, I have to take I, the easy I, win. I, I didn't do that. I have to take I didn't Seinfeld. do that at all. As a matter of fact, you <laughs> called me up and you go, babe, I got it. Frasier versus Seinfeld. Yeah. No, no, no said, we did that on the get, show. You're going to get creamed. We did it on the show last week. You're going to get creamed. We talked about it on the show yeah, last week. We were just about to do Frasier right. Seinfeld, and I was like, I, know, but when I don't we know, first, man. When we first came up with this, it was going to be Seinfeld versus Curb. Right, which would have been that's that's well, Friends is really a behemoth as well. Though. So I last time we were on, I said I can't do Friends. I have to do Frasier. Frasier is my arguably my favorite sitcom of all time. So is Seinfeld, arguably. Sure, but Can we crack a window just for a little bit. I'm here's sorry. the Thank thing: you. V said Friends is great. Uh, I found myself for some reason curious after she said Friends that. is Friends is great. I never watched it. I've been watching Friends for the last two weeks. She's shocked that you never watch Friends now. It's not knowing the last ten references we've said. Well, <laughs> she was here's appalled. why. Here's why I didn't watch Friends. Friends came out when I was about a senior in high school. Uh, you know, senior year, you're not sitting home watching sitcoms. Every girl I knew, though, it was all they watched at that time. And that, and I and no, I, I watched Friends. And I, Friends was Friends was. Big enough to it was it overcame. So it was senior year. Then I went into college, and you know it's party time. You know, and then I started doing stand up. It but was like Seinfeld I just, didn't it rap till ninety eight. Seinfeld came out when I was like ninety a freshman in high school or yeah. something. Yeah, that's uh, and I by the way I never watched Seinfeld when it was on. I re I had seen it, but I revisited it. Uh, you you didn't watch? I never anything watched until it was over. I watched the finale because it was such a big event. And I hated it. I hated. I enjoyed it. I the finale. Like, I still don't like the finale. I like the finale. And it put me off of wanting to see any more. Wow, of it. that's crazy, bro. And then about seven years ago, I was addicted. Seven years ago or so, I called. Shout out Pat Walsh once again, and I said, "Is Seinfeld worth buying? Because it's like fifty bucks for the whole series on Amazon today." And he was like, "You're insane. Buy it right now." Oh my god! And I bought it. And I watched it all the way through and then obsessively ever since. And I was like, this is probably the greatest sitcom of all time. But I, I used to deliver pizza and I got out at 11. But if there was no there was no orders, I could mop and clean up and get out at about 1045. And I lived like seven minutes from the pizzeria. And I would mop and clean. This is a syndicated Seinfeld at 11 p.m. Just to get home fast enough to hit record on my VHS. Right. And I have my own Seinfeld VHS library. There's about five, six episodes per tape. And I had a marble notebook with the episodes and the guide in yeah. the notebook. That's how much I love Seinfeld. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I used to do that with the Twilight Zone yeah. before I owned the whole thing. But uh, the uh, you, Sein, I love Seinfeld. I did the same thing with Frasier. I went back after the fact and fell in love with it. I love Frasier so much. Friends, in all seriousness, as of this moment of the recording of this podcast, Friends is not even in my top probably 10 sitcoms of all time because I am le less familiar with it than the others. However, but Seinfeld given that V piqued my curiosity yeah. and I started to watch over the last two weeks, I am falling in love with it. And I feel, did you watch from the beginning? Yeah, and I've gleaned enough now because I will obsess watching watch. sitcoms from the beginning is tough. You got to get to like season three of any sitcom before it. I actually think season three of Friends is where it starts to get a little. I, I don't think that that season is anywhere near as good as one and two. Oh, really? Maybe so I'm far, wrong. and then I, and it bums me out because you can start to see, you can start to see in season three that they're becoming that they're famous now. Yeah, they start to look better. It's like the thing Rob McElhenney said about when he got fat for yeah. It's Always Sunny. He's yeah. like, they just start to look better and better. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, Jennifer Aniston, like, I can tell, like, she was in this movie by then and, like, well, whatever. Well, I'll tell you so, I like, thought what I thought you were going to say, which is one of my criticisms of Seinfeld, if I'm being fair, was that if you watch the first season, like, it's a tough watch. It, it finds its stride in, like, there might be an episode or a moment. Halfway through season two is where Seinfeld becomes Cartwright, becomes Seinfeld. all that stuff, right? Yeah. It's the, wa the washing machine one. When they go down for the washing machine revenge. Yeah. And Kramer does the whole set piece with trying to pour the cement in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that might also be the nose job one. If season one, is two that, is that, nose the, job. Is that the tape, the, uh, tape machine, the phone? What's that? Answering machine one? With it going that's two or three. Okay. I don't remember. But, yeah, but that's when it... it that's that 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 whole. Yeah, but I'll tell you yeah. what Seinfeld suffered from. I thought that it became so the most popular thing on earth that that they then started the storylines came from a place of oh we have a formula now, like 
and then they the the char- you have to I guess evolve somewhere, and the characters became caricatures. It was so, it, it became a cartoon. The last two two seasons. Or like a cartoon, maybe even three seasons. The it's like they're doing. It's almost like they hired new writers, and the writers were like, "Let me let me write a Seinfeld episode from what I know." The like, last two seasons have some of the best episodes, and by far the worst episodes. Oh, they, I, it's like, bad. Like, but like, like, there's Not there's as, no, nowhere near like two through six. There's some bangers in the last two seasons. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But but some overall, misses. it's very very. By the yeah. way, the misses I still love. Like I'm just saying, in, in comparison to themselves, but Seinfeld, you know. I mean, I'll tell you what. Seinfeld and Friends have a lot of the same traits as a sitcom. You could put it on and like it could be halfway through one, and you literally watch it because it's instantly it, ca- it so instantly grabs you. For the last two weeks, I've been watching Friends at lunch, and anytime I eat lunch or dinner at home, I watch it. Anytime I'm working at home, I have it on in the background, and then I've been going to sleep to it. So I'm 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 pretty deep into season wow. like four at this point. Okay. I've I've gotten through a lot. I, oh, you, this is what I do. I get obsessed with. Oh, the you show. don't even know that you're about. You don't know about what happens in the, like the mid to later seasons. I know how the show ends. I've seen the finale. Why? 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 That you're you're shocked that he doesn't know the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. Yet. Well, no, no, I know. I know how the show ends. A, a lot of but a lot of stuff happens between the characters. Yeah. They they go through. No, a, I know. A, a long, I've watched like a, a, the opposite of Seinfeld, which made a promise I know that Ro- and kept it. I know that Ross. I know that Ross and and. Uh, uh, Rachel eventually break up. I know that Ross is going to get married to the English woman. I know that Rachel comes back in. I know that Chandler and Monica end up together. I know the series ends with Monica and Chandler what? with the babies and them leaving. And this is what I will say. How I do have, you know all that? Because I've seen some of it out of sequence okay. over the years. But, and like I'm putting a, it together as I watch it. there's a lot of like a lot of tumultuous things that yeah, happen. Yeah, no, too. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, and some of it I don't know. But... You know, dude, this is where I'm at. I'm, I, I was online drama, last night. Of, there's drama in there. I was online last night looking up Phoebe's apartment. I was like, where does she live? Do we okay. see it ever? I want to see now. I want to yeah. see what Phoebe's apartment looks like. That's weird that she doesn't live there, too. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, she, uh, anyway, I will tell you this right now, and I'll say it right off the bat. As far as landing sticks go, Seinfeld doesn't hold a fucking candle as far as I'm concerned to friends. I Land, already know I will sticks? be sticking the landing. Oh, I will right. be crying my eyes out at the end of Friends the way I do at the end of Golden Girls. Yeah, but when they I'm leave sorry. that house at the end of Golden Girls, I'm like, it is devastating. Sure, and that's sure. what the end of this will be. I will tell you that Seinfeld lacks that kind of emotion, but that is not... They build their show promising you you will not get emotion there will not be relationships that you have to latch on to they will not they, they said that that was as advertised and they stayed the course and they were like That's not the this part is of- just i don't even mean the show about nothing because it is about stuff but it's just like they just stayed in self-contained episodes for the most part and they stayed stuck to their formula it was about jokes it was about shitty people it was but that's not what i'm talking about I am not talking I about cry, the though, emotional yeah. depth of something. Okay. I know I said that. It's I probably sound like that's what I meant. What I meant was, and this is why I can argue Friends over Seinfeld. Friends, I do think the emotional resonance of Friends go- carries a lot farther than the character characters of Seinfeld because of the emotional depth. But... It's a show that that hinges on the friendship and the relationship of those characters, and it lands in a place that you feel fulfilled. Where those what you saw with those characters, Seinfeld did not, in any, in my opinion, in any way, shape, or form, deliver a fulfilling well, resolution. Think ever. about think it's, ab- it's, it's it's they become so unlikable in yeah. the last episode. They are such petty people. And they do try to do a little bullshit emotional thing. No, they don't. When the plane's going down, Jerry, I always wanted to... Oh, give me a fucking break. That was okay. just a little... Bre- that, that was a tease, and then they didn't do it. It's lame, It's though. a breadcrumb. Nah, it's I, lame. I, and then, like, I, I will the tell you, think of the task back, they have at hand, right? You have, you have a history of these six characters in their relationships, in their friendships, that had an arc over all those seasons. So when you're wrapping it up, you have a lot more invested to wrap up. Seinfeld stayed a la carte. It stayed, it stayed to just... Just, uh, we're shitty people, and so you're not going to get that kind of gravity. Here's a, but here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. I don't agree that Seinfeld was about shitty people because it wasn't. 
it was about people being frivolous and and uh, petty. You know, you know what sums it up? Nuanced. What sums it up? The one where Elaine gets the number, the other, the Bizarro friends. Sure. Feldman from across the hall. Yeah. When she tells Jerry she can't hang out with them anymore, the way she describes their hangout... That was later on, though. I know, but she says, she goes, I can't keep coming to this apartment, pouring over every little stupid thing about life or whatever. That, to me, is what the show was about. It was about people that had absolute... It's curb. It's, yeah, it's... Yeah, but... but it's on, it's minutiae. But here's the thing. By the end of Seinfeld... Yeah. They're, they don't even care about each other anymore. It's there's there's a camaraderie with Seinfeld in the contest, the 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 pinky you know the pinky bet whatever how they do it. They have it. They're a team and they get each other's backs and they help each other through their problems, and they fight and whatever. They're real friends. Right, let's, anyway, let's, let's go to the phones vote. because let's we got to do. I got a piece so bad. I got a piece so bad. All right, let's get the vote. Let's get the final pie episode. Pie. Roll it out. Get some percentages. Uh, uh, this is going to be cr how, how many how, how many votes? Ten thousand. That's it so far. I thought people would jump right. on that because of the nature of it. Uh, Ten thousand in an hour is not bad. All right, the winner with fifty six percent. Ooh, that's close, bro. Very close. That's very close. Seinfeld. Fifty six percent though. That's that is close. that is very that's close. That's very close. We knew uh, it'd be close. Great. Wow, that was that was very close. I yep. You still. I love don't me. think anyone would. I nope. still love you. I love you too. Yeah, all right. Folks, let's talk about Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform. DFS, daily fantasy sports. In North America, the largest DFS platform in North America. They are the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. And it's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of players, including the pros or the sharks or whatever, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. I like prize picks for this reason. I don't like things where I got to go with the group and I got to compete against the group and whatever. I, I don't like that. I like the way prize picks is doing this. I wish everything in life was like this. Uh, with basketball season here, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball from the specials league, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. For example, LeBron James and Travis Kelce. Is it Kelce? Is it Kelsey? Folks, I don't know sports, but I know that prize picks makes it easy for me to participate. And that's even a guy like me can enjoy it. All right. Uh, anyway, you can pick those two players at a 10.5 combo of three points made plus receptions. You see what I'm saying? I think you see what I'm saying. Uh, if you want to play alongside also of some of Prize Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz, friend of mine, uh, Schultz, not Meek Mill. I, I hope to meet Meek Mill one day. Maybe I'll meet him through Prize Picks. Anyway, now you can find community plays under the Promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play, even if one of your players gets injured. So for uh, football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second half, that player can be rebooted like video game style. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with injury insurance policy. All right, listen, I want you to go to Prize Picks. I want you to give it a shot. Okay. Like I said, even a dumb dumb like me when it comes to sports has used it and had a great time using it. And if you like sports, it's going to be even more fulfilling and enthralling and exciting. So go to prizepicks.com slash taste buds and use code taste buds for a first deposit match up to $100. I'll say it again. Go to prizepicks.com slash taste buds and use code taste buds for a first deposit match up to $100. All right. Prize picks daily fantasy sports made easy. Folks, this episode of Taste Buds is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp's been with us for a very long time, and there's a reason for that. We really like what they're offering the people that are subscribing to their service, okay? Uh, BetterHelp. Okay, let's talk about this time of year. 
Uh, this time of year can be very stressful, not just because of all the holiday stuff that's happening, uh, but because of just basically the the pressures that come along with it. I, I for one, feel pressures uh, during this time of year to not only see all the people that uh, in my life that I care about, that I want to see, but also to attend a lot of different events that are related, most of them to the holidays, but then also to get in all of my personal interests and, and doings done before the real cold weather hits. Uh, that's my experience as somebody living on the East Coast. It gets a little stressful. And then the anticipation of the winter being on its way, of the new year starting, trying to get off on the right foot in the new year. It's a lot. It's a lot. This time of year can be a lot. And it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. So by adding something new or positive to your life, you can counteract some of those feelings. That's where therapy has helped me a great deal. Therapy has been a bright spot for me. It has helped me talk through some of these anticipatory anxieties and real-time anxieties that I'm having. Uh, and it gives me Therapy gives me something to look forward to, meaning the session itself where I can speak to my therapist and I know that I'm going to come out of that feeling a little more grounded, uh, a little more prepared and a little more equipped with the tools that I need to manage everything that is going on. I have benefited greatly in life from therapy, but I have also at times found therapy and, and entering back into it. Uh, and some of you might feel this entering into for the first time. It's a, it can be daunting because of all of the different things you need to tackle first. Whatever. Better help is here to alleviate all of that and give you a very convenient, a very flexible uh, and a very suited to your schedule approach to therapy. And it's also super, super easy to get started. That is so important. You go and fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge, and they're offering uh, great rates for all this stuff. I I'm telling you, people, if you started thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TasteBuds today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TasteBuds. Time to... B A T T L E buds. All right, it's dark meat versus white meat. Yeah. Me and Mark are team dark meat. Sal is team white meat. Couple of dark over here. Yes. Take it easy. All right. Take it easy. And then we got a, you know, white C off to the left. Yeah. Tried to balance it out, did you? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, here's the thing. Can't believe you prefer white meat. It's insane. Well, I just think it just is juicier. And it is more appealing. Hit when I have look. This oh is how boy. I know I don't like dark You're meat. Floundering because I was not even looking at what what type of chicken I was eating a couple of months ago, and I was like, "Oh, this is why does this taste like this?" And then I looked, and it was dark meat, and I was like, "Oh, I guess I don't like dark meat." This is it's what I told you before. It's what I imagine dog meat to taste like. You're using but, this dog. Oh, can I just well, say you're I, using this dog example a lot lately? You said it about hummus this too. Is wet dog. No, you, hummus tastes like edible throw up. But you said wet dog with hummus as well. Like you used the well, wet. Well, then maybe those two things. Remind yeah. Me, you know, wet dog. But meat. I'm just saying you're going to dog a lot recently. Well, twice. So, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Two times, but let's call. Let's call. You know, just stop the press. Two times in a short period of time. Um, do you have? Are you ever eating something? Sometimes it happens to me with sushi. I love sushi, but once in a while, I just go. I smell it and taste it, and all of a sudden, I'm repulsed by it, even though I kind of like it. And mm. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I'm chewing on this. It's, it's, I know what you mean. Yeah, chicken. It's been happening to me lately. Where like normally I eat chicken. Chicken tastes like chicken. I don't even pause. I I know what it's about to taste like. It tastes like that. Sure. Not even. Not even. Two weeks ago, I ate a piece of chicken and I could couldn't even finish it because I was like, "This tastes like flesh of a chicken." I don't know what it is. It just, yeah. I, yeah. It, I was I chewing. I'm like, all of a sudden during the chew, I was like, "I don't yeah, like." I was this. eating a piece of chicken once and I got freaked out because you on the skin you could see like the bumps from where the feathers got plucked out. Whoa! Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And it like really roused me out. And I couldn't eat anymore. It makes it real. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that that happens. It's but what does that me. have to do with white well, meat or dark meat? Uh, well, the meat? taste of dark meat uh, is that brings that out for me. Exactly. Oh, interesting. I start chewing. I'm like, oh, this tastes like I, it tastes like it's not civil. It tastes like what we haven't come a long way 
<laughs> with right. cooking food. I just I'm like, oh, this tastes like I'm eating a chicken. So you have a drumstick in your hand and you're going, oh, this is repulsive. I mean, everybody loves a drumstick. I mean, no, I, I gotta I've tell you, a, I've had a drumstick. I feel like the argument ends there. The drumstick. That's it. I mean, the right. drumstick. You, it's it's the it's the emoji for chicken. Yes, it's the piece of chicken you think of. Any you think of fried chicken, you think of KFC, you think of Papa, anything you think of chicken. But hey, you want chicken for dinner? In your head, in the cartoons, the guy's head turns into a drumstick. Yeah, how about those big turkey drumsticks at the Super Bowl? They have uh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are the best. They're they're awesome. Like the Viking one. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Awesome. I get that. But but the thing. So wait, no drumstick has white meat. None. None? No, that's dark no, meat. Only the only a now a chicken wing is white meat. So if you get hot wings, the drumstick in the hot wings is white okay, meat. Okay, so that's but no a true I'm... drumstick is the leg of the chicken connects to the thigh, chicken quarter, if you will, when yes. they're still connected together. I love the quarter. Oh yeah, I mean it's. Let wow. me ask you yeah. this: Is there darker meat than dark? Is it levels of dark? Mm, because no. you know, what do you what, mean? What like is seal? Dark? No, like no, no, the <laughs> singer. Like, are there parts of the? Chicken that it's like let's picture it on a scale, a, a gradient, like a spectrum, right? Like, is there like okay, this is kind of dark meat, but this is like really dark meat? Like, no. if the drumstick is like here, but then another no, part of it's dark and light. So, dark, so, white. so, what color is dark meat to you? Because I no, see but it I in will say, colors. I will say that that some of the white meat is uh, a bit fattier than like the breast is the non-fatty part of the chicken, right? Okay, pretty much. That's why breast meat so often. Is so dry if when you it's, do it right, though. But but just hear my point. You you don't often get a dry wing. Yeah, you know true. what I mean. Like you've never you you've rarely had hot wings and gone like these are dry. Well, you know they're also I mean? covered like, in wet sauce. Right. Well, but I just mean when you bite into yeah, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's a fattier type of white meat. Uh, but like the 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 breast is is that that's that's I mean it's like fat free basically. I think. I don't believe there's any. Yeah, if you take the skin off, it is. Yeah, like yeah, that's, but I that's love the delicious. Skin. It can be. Yeah, it can be. What um, color is dark meat? It might be gray? just a hair darker. What color is it? Grayish. That's disgusting. I would say gray. It's off white. But isn't the it also is like white. red and like isn't it like a bunch of different colors? No, like, no, no. But no. some's light gray and some's like way darker than the gray and no. some's like has like that what pinkish you're red. Of, no, what you're thinking of is the fact that the dark meat pieces are much less meaty and closer to the bone. A breast has no bone in it except for the very bottom part. So when you cut into a breast you're seeing a, a, a consistent color because there's no bone obstructing it. You cut into a thigh, there's literally a bone going through the middle of it. Right. The bone around the bone is where the blood is and stuff. That's why they say if chicken. Ah. They say if chicken, if you're eating it and you see blood, as long as the blood's near the bone, it's fine. It's Ooh. safe. I mean, you, for me, this is strikes against you. It's How not so? strikes against the blood. It's uh, about yeah, it's properly like if cooking. You see something. blood. It's okay. It just has to be close to the bone. Well, you like a bloody steak. Red or dark meat is made up of muscles with fibers that are called slow twitch. These muscles are used for extended periods of activity, work, walking, standing. See red yeah. meat. All right, then red, sure. Uh, but, I mean, uh, listen, re yeah, Mark makes a great point. Since when is blood in meat a bad thing? I mean, a bloody, <laughs> yeah, if you serve is. me a steak and it's not bleeding, I'm going to throw but it But not in, in chicken. Yes, chicken properly cooked. You see red usually meat on your, on your chicken drumstick. Ch ch chicken should not usually have blood. They're saying if you're eating chicken and you happen to see some blood near the bone, it's don't panic. And, and in your mind, that th this dark meat is what it's it's tastier. Why? It's got what, what, fattier. fattier. Okay, it's got way it, more flavor. But what are you tasting more of? And it's juicier. It's not tasting more this, of something. It's like oh, it's, yeah. it's the a hundred percent juicier. <laughs> A hundred percent juice here. It's not about your taste. Have you ever had the experience I had where you're eating? Not even let's not even call it chicken at first, but like you're eating something and you're like, I know that yeah. this is supposed to taste like this, but all of a sudden this tastes like I'm in my head about how this no, tastes. Yes, I, I already said time. that I understood with ribs, especially because you're like this is a rib cage. Yes, that's when I got yes, fucked yes, up. yes. Okay, so that's what happens to me when I have when I have dark meat. It's never happened to you with, with chicken. No, no. It so has. I literally told a I'm story where it happened to me uh, two minutes ago. I said that exact thing happened to me. I told the whole story, and you went, oh, "Okay." I don't remember that. <laughs> For the record, you're <laughs> the in the majority. Sure you sure I said it wasn't you when you see were where the plucks were came. Oh out. no, but I'm not talking about the taste, bro. You mean just the taste itself? Yeah, yeah, the taste. Like I just like what I said. Well, I don't think. Ooh, ooh. But that's all I said. It was the taste. Ooh. I don't think the taste. You're not saying the taste. You're, I you're like saying, the taste. No, 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 no. Because I think fat has you're taste. You're saying when something. Hold on, hold on. You're, he, he's saying 
he asked about when you get freaked out by a food halfway oh. through. It. You're not saying because the taste. No, of ribs. no, You're no, saying no. the idea that it's a rib cage. Yeah, I'm saying because I could see, could see the feather marks. You're saying the literal literal taste. I mean, I think that could have happened to you with white meat too. I don't see how that pertains to dark or white meat chicken. Like you're uh, it creating, but it happens all the time with the dark meat. Mm, I, I, it just feels. Uh, I feel meat, like I'm eating a chicken when I'm eating the dark meat. White meat all the way. Dark meat looks like the inside of Joe's heart, black and full of hate. There you oh, go. Right Curveball here. cards, LLC. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Got to give them the love. I, I don't understand. You're telling me, Sal, when you eat fried chicken, you get a bucket of delicious fried Ooh, chicken from your favorite fried chicken place. I always want place. that drumstick yeah. first. You're I, telling me you don't eat those drumsticks and thighs. I think maybe in fried chicken, maybe. We got to get some fried chicken up here. Yeah. All I, think for fr- I think for fried chicken, I don't know if I discriminate in any way, shape, or form with the meat. But I do know that I have I don't like dark meat outside of that, maybe, at least. It just it freaks me out. I don't know. Also, man. when you're cutting it and stuff, and you, I don't know, it just outside it's of gray. A, outside of a outside of a Chick Fil A sandwich, which is a Grand Slam sandwich and white meat. Okay, I will admit to that. I would tell you that I think white meat chicken is the most boring food on planet Earth. I won't cross the street for a fried chicken breast. When I get fried chicken, I say I only want legs and thighs. Whoa. The only time if I'm ordering in a restaurant that I'll eat, like, that I eat uh, white meat chicken, I'm pretty sure, is if I get, like, I'll get wings. I like wings. I don't dislike, I don't dislike white meat, but I find the only preparations of it that make it enjoyable, it, it, it's got to be done. Da- doused in like a cream sauce or whatever you know or you Ugh. gotta or you gotta do a hammered chick like a chicken cutlet's great yeah. but you're hammering that thing so thin and covering it and breading <sighs> and then de- basically deep frying it you know like <laughs> yeah. th- uh, you know these are talk to me about thanksgiving okay i love that turkey leg yeah that I, turkey I, leg i, I love, love. But tur- again, I'll I do like- the white meat if it's covered in gravy and I get a scoop of stuffing, I get a stoop of green bean. I got to tell you, with turkey, bean. with turkey outside of lunch meat, forget it. The white meat offends me on Thanksgiving, and I get pissed if that's all that's left. You're like insane. the Native Americans. Oh, dude, I put that dark meat down because you, you can taste the white meat through all the other oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. You put that dark meat down and the, the, the it, juiciness it and the disgusting. grease yes, in it. And yes, And the, the stuffing and the gravy. Ooh. By the way, you're not getting gravy without dark meat. It looks like, it looks like dolphin meat. Ooh. Gravy's coming from the fat, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm hard. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're talking. It, it That's looks a like, great point. It looks uh, like- all right, here's the vote. Humble pie. We got 7,000 votes. Let's go. Wow. I told you, man. We're in the minority. Son of a- all right, so drum roll. We got the white meat winning with 59.5 to a 40.5. We got trounced. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. You've seen we've said we've had some 90 tens. Oh wow. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Man, so that's even, not too bad. Even after all those great diatribes you had. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. What are you gonna do? What all does right. it say to you though that the collective masses agree that white meat is better? Why? It says what I've always said about the collective masses. They're dumb, dull, and boring and have no <laughs> taste or aesthetic uh, concept. So the 59.5% of the 7,000 votes, that's all of them? Yeah, every last one of Fair them. Fair enough. That's all I need you to say. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, babe. Love you, too. All right, guys. Uh, here's the battle. Ilios versus Hot Pockets. I am Team Hot Pockets. The other three gentlemen in the room are Ilios. Now, I know I might lose with this. And Pimp asked me before why, why, we... Why, why, why might? Hot Pockets is a, is a, is a, is a Goliath. I just think... They I, are huge. Yeah, but people love Ilios. But Pimp asked me before the show, why? You like Hot Pockets? I said, Pimp, I got to be honest with you. I'm not crazy about Hot Pockets, but I hate... I Ilios. like a fight. Yeah. I hate Elios. Even as a kid, You're I nuts. never once ever had a moment in my life where I liked Elios, <laughs> where I thought it tasted good. I never talked to an Elios. <laughs> where the box looked attractive to me. Oh, whoa. From the box to the product to the, to the way it's wrapped in that shitty plastic. What's Elios? What's, what's crazy is everything you're saying is what I love about what it. What I love about it. I yeah. love the box. I love the three perforated slices, three on three, nine in the box. Mm-hmm. I slot it out. I pour it right in the toaster oven. Let Ugh. me tell you something right now. Ugh. I'm a pizza kid. Okay, I, I I grew up around pizza. I love pizza. I deliver pizza for, for five years almost, and I seek out good pizza. Mm-hmm. I know good pizza. I'm from Staten Island. I eat good pizza all the time. Something about Elio's pizza 
you might say, you know, oh, it's 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 you know, it's crap, it's frozen, it's bargain basement, it's bullshit, it's this and that. It's like how you like, and I don't, I want to bring this up because, but it's like the McDonald's burger, right? It's not the best burger, but there's something about it that sure. you taste it and people get addicted to it. I think Elio's is so goddamn good. It's. I think the sauce is good. The cheese, I love everything about too. it. It's simple. There's yes. no. They only have. They only. Uh, the only thing they. I think they offer just pepperoni. No, no, no. They, oh, they there's have, more they, now. They have They've the expanded. audacity to start trying to put toppings on this cr- crap. Oh, you're nuts. There's nuts. shit on a shingle. They serve and they call it pizza. <laughs> this they is started the putting test meat time, toppings right? on it. I can't imagine how bad the meat is. They can't even get the cheese sauce and bread oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Yeah. You're defending that meat. Hot pocket meat. That meat. Is coming oh, right up there. Sh- oh, get the get out of here. They might even be owned by the same company. Yeah. Take that Don't and care. shove it up your ass. Don't care. Oh, Joe. You just can't you can't talk about the toppings on an Elios. Big and That's bold, going baby. right, it's going right into bold, your hot topic. <laughs> You're a hot pocket. I never. I, I will say I've had a hot pockets in my life, but I honestly believe I've had ten in my life. Listen, as a guy who went through a big phase of HPs, yeah, uh, they are. Good for what they serve. Breakfast the, on the run, maybe? I was more of a lunch and dinner okay. late night guy. The okay. pepperoni, well, I get it. I do get it. But it's not a real food. At least the pizza, the frozen pizza, may not be the best Hop, where else do you get a, a version of a hot pocket? But wait a minute, it's, it's a made up oh, thing. You mean, you mean, you mean the, con- the, the concept, the construction of it? It's a, it's a calzone. What do you mean? Where do you get a version no. of that? It's a calzone. It's cheese and meat inside of bread. They got a steak and cheese one. They got a ham and cheese one. They got a pepperoni <laughs> sauce and cheese one. What <laughs> was Hot Pockets recalled in twenty nineteen, in twenty twenty, and twenty one? Glass and plastic fragments. Yeah, it sounds like All real right. great meat. Okay, so 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 two people found plastic in their hot pockets <laughs> over the course of three days. And come on, come on, guys, this is weak. You, you're better than this. You're better than this. You're better than this. No. You're he, he's the cow. He's good. The calzone. The calzone. I thought I had them dead to rights, and they don't exist. Uh, but if you don't else. mind, let me let me just take a step back. Sure, but why not call it a calzone? Calzone is not hot pockets is fun. But cal- pizza is pizza. Calzone is calzone. No, but hot pockets is fun. Could well, go ahead, Foley. Go ahead. I mean, I just wanted to go back on the. First of all, they're not owned by the same company. One's manufactured in Kentucky, and the other one, uh, Jersey, Elios is Lodi, New Jersey. Oh wow, um, local boys. Nice. But if you're talking ground. about the packaging. Are you kidding me? I hate the Elio's packaging. Do what? In the Hot Pocket space chute you got to put it into? Yeah, it can yeah. only be supposed to be no, cooked in a no, microwave. No, no, no. That yeah. thing's crazy. No, no, no. no I, when I you see the packaging. Stick it in a little, you got to stick it in a glass case and put it in the microwave. Hold on. That's the packaging, nuts. I meant the box. I'm just saying I hate every aspect of Elio's. But it, I was, you mentioned the plastic yeah, on the Yeah, I was saying down that to the. That looks like a box of muffler Down to the in. plastic. Yeah. Because here's the thing. When you get most frozen pizza, when you get it, and you take it out out of its packaging or whatever, if it comes in a box or whatever, usually it's on some sort of platter, it's shrink-wrapped, it's, it's packaged in a certain way. When you get Elio's, it is put into these loose baggies, the cheese is falling off of it inside of the plastic. It's, I mean, every everything frozen about pizza it has cheese I'm going to tell, yeah. tell you why, but it's I'm going to wait. That's going to be the coup de gras. That's okay. going to be the nail in the coffin. What are you going to say? You so like you're to sprinkle the cheese on? You got to kick out a little bit of a rope dope Yeah, I don't really give it to him. But you got to, let me guess, you got to kick out a sprinkle in the bag, the bag remnants onto the top of the pizza. I actually never did that when I was a kid. Really? No. What would you do with that? Look how good that looks. It's so good. Oh, it looks it's the best. And and dude, the box looks like Italy. You got the red. You got the green. There's garden vegetables on there. It looks fresh. It looks fun. Yeah, how look at you, that. Wait, 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 it was wait, actually invented that. by Italians. It's, it's, by proper off-the-boat Italians. That's beautiful. Yeah. 1963, Ilios Pizza was founded in Long Island, New York, town of Great Neck by Elias Betzios, George Leolis, and Manny Z- well, It looks like Greek people. You just run Greece. Let me tell you my experience <laughs> with Ilios. Every time I ate it, it was mushy. It was flavorless. User error. You put it in an, yeah, thank you. User it error. Was it was mushy. It was flavorless. Uh, the cheese. That sauce has I a tang. I the way the cheese melts on it. I hate the way the cheese. It never has enough cheese. crispy. It's it so never nice. has enough cheese. It never has enough cheese. And the cheese is shredded too thin and too sparsely uh, 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 sprinkled on top that you don't get enough cheese. Look at that. That's, if I, I got that slice in a restaurant or in a pizzeria, I'd be like, can I? You're not getting a restaurant. If I went to a hot pocket. 
a restaurant? Get him, boys! I would burn it the fuck I, down. I would, say, I would say, guys, where's the cheese? There's no cheese on this. If they served me a Hot Pocket as a calzone, I'd punch him in the mouth. That's Listen, true. That's you, you true. That's a you have to use the same. So what you you're saying is the same. What you're, you're, what you're saying. Same arguments. So you oh, prefer God. a screaming hot side of a Hot Pocket with an ice cold center with a shitty pop you tart shell around it. Error. And she I and never had an ice cold ba- center, baby. Not once. Not once. That's not once. That's not true. And that's that's not true. Because then the, Unless the corners... you have the greatest microwave How in the history of microwaves. Many times has the Hot Pocket saved your ass on the road? You come back to that hotel never. at 3 a.m. Never. Everything is closed. Never. You walk to that lobby little convenience shelf and they got the freezer with Hot Pockets in never. it. And you go, I can have dinner now. Never. 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 Bullshit. I Never go for I would a hot eat the pocket. shower cap before I yeah. ate the hot oh, pocket. Oh, you're yeah. full of shit. Never. I'd rather have a 7 Eleven frozen cheeseburger Ooh. than a f- hot pocket. How about that? Shots fired. That's nuts. How That's about good. that? That's also, nuts. Also, what? The, the only option, you're, you're forced to cook it if you're, you, then you're cooking in the lobby of a Best Western like a jerk off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a bag of chips and you go home. Yeah, that's no, it. You, you got a microwave yeah, you in do. the room. Hey, no. I say, drop the fries for table three. You're like, yeah, <laughs> you get chips, you got a Nature Valley honey. Yes. You, you got a microwave in the room. In Bag of cashews. Microwave in the room. Yeah. Some smart food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Don't act like you don't Let know me... what I'm talking about. I've seen the first class pictures. <laughs> don't act like you're microwave still out there in the room. It. No, that's a <laughs> shitty. Mo- that's a motel. If it's got a, mo- that's to go crack. No, they usually put a microwave and a coffee machine in a little in a little fridge in every hotel room. That's pretty standard stuff. Am a I microwave. Right? microwave. Yeah, you might be sleeping at a Seven Eleven. Now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. I, let me. Let me tell you something about what you said about the cheese. I know what you mean because you're speaking of pizza in general, but some people might like it. Something about Elio's, they, everything they do, even if it is slightly less on the cheese, still works for me. It, it, it is so specific of what it is, and I like the sauce. I don't feel like I'm getting gypped on cheese. I feel it's the perfect amount of everything. I accept it as is, and I like it exactly the way it is. They have extra cheese, Elio's, by the way, so that whole debate is out. You can just buy extra cheese. Well- Oh, okay, but hold on a second. That debate is not out because they didn't have extra cheese Elio's when we were growing up. And just because they have it now doesn't mean Elio's is suddenly good. We are talking about the core, the the, the original Elio's. You put? Did you? So what's the original hot pocket? If you don't mind me asking. I would say that's what you want. I would say the two originals are the ham and cheese and the pepperoni. Yes, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The pepperoni pizza. I'll give you that. Just so we know. And I will also agree that the quality of both of those has dipped off in recent years. However, ah, that's not true. You don't think so? Hot pocket, yes. Elio's, no, because I ate a shit ton. No, no, no. I'm saying the 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 quality of the hot pocket. Yes. Has the hot pockets have dropped? I'm saying the hot, hot pocket, pocket was okay. a higher quality when it first came out. Right, I'll give okay. you that. So uh, that's a bummer to me that it's dipped off. But I will say, you want to talk about being a kid, enjoying something after school? What was better? Then your mom having in a freezer a thing that you cooked and and was a hot. It felt like you were having like a real meal or something after school. It was so a elevated real to me. Meal. Elevated. So nobody thought that was a real meal. Nobody Since thought that was elevated. Elevated. When you're eleven, it's awesome. Uh, all right. And by the way, is- get the tickets now because you're selling out all over. The yeah, place. yeah, the shows are tickets. selling out. So yeah, it's great. It's uh, awesome. yeah, get it. Check all out right. the Taste Buds merch. Go to NoPressNetwork.com. Uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube at NoPress. Uh, follow us on Spotify. Rate us on iTunes, please. We, we haven't been saying that for a while, but we could really use yeah. it. Hit that like button. Hit yes. that alert button. My tickets are on right. sale. Uh, so are my, mine. My, yes, our tickets are on sale. Yeah. JoeDeRosa.com, right? Yep. SalvoCanoComedy.com. My special taping at the Vic in Chicago on December Woo! 2nd is on sale right this second yeah. if you want to get yeah. that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go to the phones here. Pimp is taking Elio's. Drum roll. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. I will How say does something. that match up close wise? Are they it's, typically it, no, that it's, close? It's or is de- it, that's, that's decent. That's, that's a decent battle. Okay. Especially it, since people don't know Elio's. Shifty's forties, especially that that only tells me that Elio's did outperformed. hundred percent. Because people didn't we're fighting, we're fighting a national brand. Yeah, we got hot pockets, guys. I, for the listeners, we got hot pockets in a fifty six point four percent, and the Elio's pizza in a forty three point six percent. I'll take it. We'll take I'll it. I'll take yeah. it. I didn't know that uh, Elio's. W- because of the team, 
I don't think it is regional. It is. It's only the Northeast. But how did they get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a part of it? It's then? such a good product. That's, but you know what? <laughs> Wait, you're saying <laughs> regional, regional, regional because a lot of little Philly dirtbags are watching Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Brand. It could have just been a regional with, ads, though. Yeah, I guess like, so. hey, we'll have this one. We'll have one in the I, South. One in the I West. I just feel like if I just feel like that's a wild uh, get. Yeah. You know, but I guess also, you know, Shaq does insurance commercials that are regional to like Atlanta. Sure. So, sure yeah, Atlanta. yeah. Yeah. So anyway, folks, we st- I still love all three. I love, we love you too, guys. man. Taste buds. They come into the mic talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the